Hello and welcome everyone to this short video where I'm going to explain to you this new feature in Blackboard called Feedback Fruits. You'll use this feature when you're taking individual and team quizzes as well as when you complete application questions in your groups. I used this feature this past semester in a different class and it worked very well. Prior to Feedback Fruits, I used a different system that worked pretty well, but it cost students $25. This one won't cost you any money and it offers the same feature so why not save a little money all right so when you log into your biology 315 blackboard page you'll see all the different folders over here and then you should click on course material by week i explained this in the first video introducing the course but once you go to this page you will see every one of the weeks well you'll just see one week at a time so if you click on week one you'll see your learning objectives You'll see your weekly tasks, preparing for the material, take the individual quiz by Wednesday at 6 p.m. Then in your groups, you'll take the team test, and then you'll complete the application questions. For week one, you have a couple other extra assignments, including submitting your infographic topic and taking the pretest. You'll see study guides for each of the chapters, and then if you click on this link, you'll see all the videos you have for this week. Always make sure you read these little captions because it's possible that I've reduced some of the video that you have to watch. So for instance, on the meiosis video, it's 26 minutes long, but you only need to watch 18 minutes of it. So, so reading these things may save you a little bit of time. All right, so let's go back. The main purpose of this video is to talk about feedback fruits. I just thought I would mention a few other things in, in the process. Under each week's material, you'll notice two links. One will direct you to the IRAT and TRAT, and one will direct you to the application questions. IRAT stands for Individual Readiness Assurance Test, and TRAT stands for Team Readiness Assurance Test. But we call them IRAT and TRAT because that's a lot simpler. When you click on this link sometime between Monday morning and Wednesday at 6 p.m., it will direct you to the IRAT. Now the IRAT will contain 20 multiple choice questions. You will have 40 minutes to complete these 20 questions. So that gives you about two minutes per question. That's not going to be enough time for you to look up every answer. So make sure you're well prepared to take this quiz. You can use your notes, but like I said, it's just not going to be enough time to look up every question. So uh, again, make sure you've watched the videos, you've taken notes, and you're ready for these questions. Now, at the time that your group is assigned to meet, one of you will click on this link again, and it will take you to the TRAT. All of you can open up the TRAT and look at it, but only one person will submit the, the answers. And even if only one person has it open, they should be sharing the screen through Teams so that everybody can see what they're clicking. The TRAT will also contain 20 multiple choice questions, and it will be the exact same 20 questions you had as the IRAT. So you'll be able to discuss what you chose individually and come to a consensus on what you think the answer should be. There's no specific time limit on the TRAT. You can take as long as you want on it, but I would encourage you not to take uh, more than 30 minutes on it because you also need to answer the application questions. Also, when you're meeting and you're done with the TRAT, you will click on week one, in this case, application questions. Application questions for any given week should range between five and eight different questions. These are questions that, as the name suggests, they'll apply the knowledge you learned as you were preparing for the IRAT and the TRAT. So most often these are short answer questions, but I'm never looking for more than you know a, a several sentences. Usually one or two sentences, and other times it's a, it's a multiple choice question. Once you're done with the application questions, it will reveal the answers to you so you'll know what the answers are to those questions. And I should also mention that the last question of every application question set is tell me the members of your team that were there for the TRAT and the application questions. This way I know who to give credit for participating and being present. And if you're present and you're not participating, then um, when we do the team evaluations, that will um, come back. So please make sure you're prepared and you're working with your group to come up with the best possible answers. And you'll see that this really does help you prepare well for the exams. All right, I think that's all I want to say about the Feedback Fruits application. But as you're going forward, let me know if you have questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. But for now, um, I'll let you go, and I'll chat with you later. Bye for now.